now in the Free State Province. This is where we meet O Refile Malebu, a 29-year-old graphic designer who has initiated ways to ease the burden of women who have no money to buy sanitary towels by teaching them how to make their own using materials that are easily available, such as your face cloths, plastic bags, old socks, and even blankets. O Refile joins us now live from our studios in Bloemfontein. Good afternoon to you, O Refile. Thank you so much for joining us on the SABC News Channel. Good afternoon, Ospali is saying good afternoon to your viewers. Thank you so much for coming through. Now, let's just talk about this project, the Sisperi project. What, what prompted it? How did it come about? Well, it first came about when I was doing my BTEC, so we had to choose like um, research projects to carry on our BTEC. So this is what I chose because I found it to be a problem in South Africa that young girls don't have either access to um, sanitary wear or they simply don't have um, money to actually um, buy sanitary wear. So this is where the, the, the project came about because I just wanted to promote um, reusable sanitary wear whereby um, you can find the, 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 the fabrics easily and you can access them at home but still in a safe way, you know, you, where you can make them yourself and you can just carry on and just empower yourself in that way. All right, so let's just talk about your, your BTEC thesis for, for a moment uh, and, and perhaps take us through um, the findings and the recommendations of your study. Sorry? Going back to your thesis, what, yeah, what, what were the findings of your studies and the recommendation before this project came into being? Okay, okay. Um, what my findings were that um, I found that um, a lot of girls are unable to access these sanitary pads. That was the one thing that I saw is a problem mostly in the African country and in South Africa and that they're not able to actually go to school because they would be on their periods at, at that time. And um, what just sparked the idea is that I feel like as a woman myself, I feel like I've been through a situation like that. So I thought um, if I could just aid a young girl, that would empower me and empower everybody else. So that's what I'm just promoting. Mm -hmm. And I was also very excited to learn that uh, you originally from Fixburg in the Eastern Free State, where I am originally from as well. And the reality is when you walk the streets of Mikiling, you can sense and see poverty all over the place. The question now, Refile, is um, are you, how are you transferring the skills to the young girls of Mikiling? How are you taking the project to them to teach them how to um, make their own sanitary towels? Um, at first, I thought that, okay, because I'm in Bloemfontein right mm -hmm. now, I cannot physically just be in Fixburg and do things in Fixburg. I thought I'll just use social media to just get people watching and people to just listen to what I'm saying because I did not have, have the reach at that time. And to my surprise is that when I did... Um, make a page, a Facebook page, people started following, people started viewing my page, especially people from Fixburg, which I started with, and um, they've been very supportive, and other people just want to know how to make them, where to find the materials, so I feel like that's how I'm reaching people in, like, other places that, I, where I can't go right now. Yeah, indeed, social media is indeed very um, effective in this day and age, so you do a whole lot of demonstrations on, on social media, talk to us about that and uh, as you say that their response has certainly been very good um the response has been very good um right now i had just used myself as a test subject because i didn't want to people to just buy into it without knowing that this thing actually works. So um, what I did was just find materials that are safe enough to use and then I went from there. So um, yes, social media has really, really helped me to get the message across. All right, so you say that you've tested these sanitary towels yourself. How has it been having used um, the proper traditional ones that you know 
to using this new ones that you have created on your own? Are they comfortable? Um, at first, I was a bit skeptical because I kept on making them and I would see other um, researchers like maybe just even on YouTube or maybe on on Facebook where people recommend um, different materials so what I wanted to do is to get materials that are in South Africa where I can find them right at probably uh, a, a normal just store that we can all find here in in in, in probably in our towns and I normally just um, alternate between the two the normal ones which are uh, the disposable ones mm. and if I don't have money or I don't have access to them then I will use mine and right now I had been using using mine and yeah. the process has been long which is <laughs> I've been looking to see okay which are the comfortable me uh, methods to use when I um, use these different materials mm. so I've come a long way to different trying different materials and the one that I'm using right now which is my on my current page right now it has been comfortable which um, I would probably just wear it half of the day and not like the full day. Yeah. So I would actually change between like maybe two pads in a day. Yes. Mm. So I would say they're fairly comfortable. Yeah. But are they reusable? I would imagine because you're using fabric and material out of them. Do you yes, wash them? Yes, after? they are reusable. Um, you would have to. Yes, yes, yes. You would have to wash them afterwards. And I've had a, 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 a backlash of people saying, oh, but that's disgusting. I don't want to wash my own pad. But mm. I always think that obviously when probably you're on your parents or you, 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 you somehow become on your parents and you, you're not aware of it, you don't throw away your underwear or you don't throw away your pants you because still it, wash it. It, it has been soiled. Yeah. You wash it and then you wear it again. But, yes. So yeah. I feel like this is you being in touch with your own body. Mm. Mm -hmm. But then for hygiene purposes and yes. perhaps the sensitivity of that body part, I, I believe you can't just use any fabric or any material that you come across. Talk to us about how do you go about ensuring that uh, whatever material or fabric that you use for those particular pads, it's, um, it's not going to cause any harm going forward. Okay. Um, the material that I've used that I found to be more accessible than other materials, especially in South Africa, and um, I found 100% cotton is the one to use. I also demonstrate on the video on my page um, that you have to use 100% cotton and not like 30% uh, nylon, 30% cotton. So on the label, it has to say 100% cotton. And then after that, the other layers that I have on the pad can be any other absorbent material or any other plastic bag material, which is not going to be um, in contact with the skin because the skin needs to have something that's very sensitive, that's going to... Um, um, where it's going to be like where your skin is going to come into contact with the material. Alright, so, so there may be people watching this interview who would really love to become part of this so to create more uh, pets for the needy um, uh, girls and women out there. How do they get in touch with you? Well, I've got a Sis Paddy. My page is called Sis Paddy. And people just, if they want to know more, they'll probably just comment and I read the comments or they can just inbox me, which is how most like media companies get a hold of me. And then I will return um, with a message as well and we can see how we can go ahead with the conversation. All right. Well, um, this is a brilliant uh, initiative. We wish you everything of the best uh, going forward. Hopefully, uh, you will touch more lives uh, um, for uh, the disadvantaged girls and women out there who miss on their school days uh, because of their periods. Thank you so much for, co uh, for coming through, Ralebo. <laughs> Have a good day. Have a beautiful day.